Slamdy. Ego. Slamdy. Ego. The Slam Padres season Ego. may be Slam over, but Joe Ego. Dreams is still Slam singing Ego. and swinging Slam for the fences. Hey. I don't feel like I fit into the culture. It's like I belong in the zoo. I know you love me no matter what happened. Forgive me whatever I do. If you're a Padres fan, Joe Dreams is already a household name. I'll be posting every day. I'll be performing on the streets. And if you're not, he wants you to know the message behind his music. How can I spread love? That's really the only thing I think about is like, how can I spread love? Because when I say Joe, you say dreams, Joe. No. Joe. Joe Dreams was born and raised in San Diego. Can you go to the other side so we can sleep? So you'd think people would love this street performer wherever he goes. I can ask you to leave nicely. Or I can get somebody to make you leave. But that's not the case. In one video, someone comes up and shoves you. And we got the Padre fans up this point. Last year in New York, after the Padres beat the Mets, Joe performed his hit song, Slam Diego, and got slammed himself by a Mets fan. You, you handled that really well. You didn't fight back. How come? I've dealt with these situations for years. Like, you don't have a permit to play here. It is a municipal code violation. When police shut him down, go ahead, call the cops. I leave and even confiscate his gear, this upbeat 28 year old says officers are just doing their job. You can admit that there are certain times and places where you really shouldn't be performing. You are kind of breaking the rules, right? Yeah, I agree that there are definitely occasions where I could be more responsible. Our next speaker is Joe Dreams. Recently at a city council meeting, Joe Dreams stood up for street buskers. But San Diego was the city I reside in, one to make the kicks excited and not worry about getting cited. The mission is to inspire people to live their dreams. After earning degrees in high school and college, Joe got a real job then left it all behind. How much more likely are you to succeed if you're doing something that you love doing? He plans to make it in this world as a musician and mentor. When you go to these schools, these kids, they treat you like a rock star. Uh-huh. I want them to remember me for centuries. Make sure they know my name. Any other thoughts? I often end interviews by offering people an open mic. I like how you add positivity to the news, because when I watch CNN, it be all the blues. But this was a first. And I hope this interview gets a million views. In this Evelie Zone, Joe Dreams. Yep. CBS 8.